Let me show you on this video how to automatically scrape app Sumo website to make your post for these deals on your site. Now, this is a WordPress plugin, and I'm going to show you how to set it up on this video. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the WordPress plugin, and I will be leaving the link in the description. It's called Automatic. And it's going to automatically scrape websites and make the post on our WordPress site. The idea behind this is that it's a fantastic plugin if you're an affiliate or you just want to jump in the popularity of that website and also make those posts to have people come in and check them out on your website. So several reasons for why you might want to use this plugin. All right. Now, on this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape AppSumo. They launch several deals every single week. So it might be a great idea to make these posts on your website. I actually use this since I'm an affiliate and it helps me make these posts. I also generate them. I use AI to make them even better and I make my own posts based on these deals. Now, before we jump into the juicy part on how to actually set it up, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're planning to grab a hosting plan to set up your WordPress site and install this automatic WordPress plugin, I definitely recommend that you check out Hostinger. Now, if you go to the link in the description, jump into this section right here, you'll find their shared hosting plans, which are really affordable. Now, I will be recommending to you the business plan, which is $349 a month. So let's go ahead and choose this plan. And the thing that I want to tell you is that I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code that is going to drop the price even lower. So currently, this is the price. And the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I definitely recommend that you select 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, to add my coupon code, go to have a coupon code and add it right here, SAS Master, and apply it. The price is going to drop to $150 with 77 cents. So that's for four years paid off. So it's a fantastic deal. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, do check this out. All right. Link in the description and coupon too. All right. Okay. So for the juicy part, how to set up the automatic plugin. First of all, this license is 39 bucks and it's for one single website and it's unlimited use. So you don't have to pay anything else. That's all you got to pay. All right. So let's jump into my website. All right. So in this case, I already have the plugin installed. I've added the license and I'm good to go to add a new campaign, which we're going to do right now to scrape the app Sumo deals. All right. So in this case, I'm going to add a new campaign and I'm going to name this. I'm going to say app Sumo testing. All right. And now we're going to select the campaign type. In this case, since we are going to select multiple deals, I'm going to select multiple page scraper, but you're going to see that they have already templates available for several of the most popular sites like eBay, Amazon, Pinterest, Facebook, etc. In this case, we're going to select multiple page scraper, right? And the next thing we want to choose is how many posts do we want to make? So in this case, we're going to keep it just all the way up. So it just does do the post every single X amount of minutes, hours, and those will be set up over here on the update frequency, which we'll set up in a bit, all right? The next thing we need is the link. So you want to head on over to AppSumo in this case, and you'll find several places where they got deals. You can make the uh, scraping for the software, for the courses, for the new arrivals, etc. In this case, I will do new arrivals, right? I can select the filters and that will update the link that I can use. In this case, I'll leave it as it is. I'm going to grab the link. I'm going to go back into my campaign and I'm going to paste the link, right? Next thing you want to do is set up the selector here. Now there's several methods to select the content that it's going to scrape, but in this case, visual selector works fine, right? So we're going to use this little eye drop here and it's going to load that page and then I'm going to select. So in this case, I need to select the first deal. So I'm going to select it. And since this is a multi-page scraper, it's going to know to jump into the next, to the next, etc. of those deals, right? The next thing we want to select is the next page URL extraction method. So in this case, I can use visual selector again. In this case, AppSumo doesn't have a button per se for the next page. So for example, if I scroll, it's going to load in the deals and it's going to go ongoing. In this case, it doesn't do that. But if I go to the software section, I'll go down and down. Oh, here we go. They do have more results. But in the link that I've selected, it doesn't have it. But to do it, you'll also select the visual selector and click on the section that says right here, show more results. So it loads the next deal. So the scraper doesn't stop, right? Just to give you an idea of how that works, right? The next thing we want to do is the single item, the single title extraction. So do we want it to auto detect the title? And that will select the title from the deal that we selected. In this case, it's this one. 
and it's going to grab the title from the top title so on your tab you're going to find that title in case you want to select for example this as a title or i don't know this section or i don't know whatever section you want you can do a visual selection but i would recommend that you do auto detect unless you want to just do for example the deal name then select that section and it'll scrape that there okay the next thing i want to set up is the for example this is what i do skip post with no content skip post without an image um all the deals there have images and all the deals there have uh content but in case that doesn't have a page that i don't know they got mixed up something they uploaded or some page that it didn't grab correctly then go ahead and skip it don't continue the automation to scrape that so i would definitely recommend that you set these up the next thing i would recommend is the setup so it excludes from an older date so for example if you're just starting now to scrape these apps and deals you definitely don't want to scrape deals that are i don't know one year old two years old etc maybe you want to start fresh maybe say you know the first of this month or the first of last month well you would select it right here so for example i am going to select so like the first of January of 2025, right? I don't want to scrape past those deals, right? So there's the thousands of deals. I don't want to scrape everything. Just scrape from that date and the future, right? Okay. The next thing we want to set up is the post title and template. Now, automatically, it's going to grab the post title from what we selected over here. In this case, the auto select, right? And you can add more information here for the past or the present. For example, in this case, I can say, I don't know, deal. Etc. and just set, put that there and it just gives you an example you get emojis and everything's going to be the same except for the title here now the title is the variable these are the variables that we can use right now in this case match content is the content that is going to grab yes there is the ai feature that we can take advantage of and i'll set that up afterwards right and the source link which is always a good idea to let people know where you grab the details from which will be the legit way to do it right and you got more variables here that you can take advantage of, including the GPT prompt for the AI, which we'll set up in a bit, right? Then that to do that, you'll set up the open AI, open AI here. Now to use open AI, you do need to add the credential over here in settings. So do consider that, right? And you can select the model here that you want to use, right? Now, before we set that up, let's continue. So this is going to be a post type. Is it going to create a page in your WordPress site? In this case, I would recommend post. Unless you create a specific category and you want it to be uh, there, then you can do so, right? The custom post format will keep that as is. The post author, in this case me, you can select another one from the authors that you have available. The status, do you want it to get automatically published or do you want it to go draft? And then you'll just come in and publish the ones that you are uh, really aware that it's correct. Maybe you don't want to have issues. You want to do it manually. Then draft would be the way to go, all right? Or pending. Or if you just want to go straight publish, then go ahead and do so. In this case, I'm going to do draft since this is a test, right? And then we want to set up the rest of the information. For, for example, the images, do you want to set up the first featured image? Yes. And then you can do, for example, try to generate the name for the image from the post title. So the post title will be tied to the image, which is always a good idea in case you want to, you don't want to do it manually. You also want to set the title of the image from the media library, set the alt text. You want to set up image for the alt text. These are things that I always set up, right? Set the image caption to original caption. No. The other one that you might want to do is download image from the post content to my server. That means that these images are also going to be scraped and they're going to be stored and uploaded on your website. That can cause server load and it's up to you if you want to do that or not. If not, it'll grab the images from the original site. So if there's an image here, it's going to use that link to that image on your site, right? And the next thing I would recommend that you set up is obviously set the category. In this case, for example, lifetime deal, that's a category. You can set as many as you want. Keyword to category. So it adds that there and we can do by editing here. There's also the set title words as tags, which I think is a good idea, especially if you're not going to do this manually. If it's going to be automatic, you do want to have some uh, tags already added there. You have post filters in case you want to set that up. There's a rewriting and translating and multi-language feature here. So if you want to convert these into Spanish and to Hindi and to whatever language you want, it is possible here. So just go ahead and set, set this up. In this case, I have this WordPress plugin also installed. That is also the same plugin from the same founder of this plugin, which is automatic. In case you want to grab that, it'll spin the content by spinning words. I find that it's not the best way to do it. If you want to spin it, I would definitely recommend that you use AI. 
but it will use AI credits. So do consider that, right? And you have other options to use, for example, translate the post before posting, set WPML if you're using that, uh, polylang, etc. right? Content search and replace in case you want to replace certain uh, words, etc. So for example, if you want to replace the word lifetime deal to lifetime offers, then set the search and replace per line here, right? That is for that feature, right? You can also set up the links, for example, strip original links from the post in case you don't want to use the links on your uh, post that you're going to make. That means, for example, in here, there's a link right here. If you don't turn that off, you don't, if you don't strip it, it will also add the link on your site, which I think is a good idea because you're giving them credits and you're giving a link to that, for example, to this deal, which is modular DS, which helps them out. And it's a backlink for them, right? And these are just a lot of settings that you want to go through to set this up, right? And last thing you want to set up here is the update frequency. The update frequency is the amount of times that it's going to check if there's a new deal to start scraping it, right? So in this case, I am going to set this up, uh, I don't know, just so many minutes. You got hours and days if you want. For example, if you days, it's just going to do one a day and it's going to check it there, right? So let's go ahead and publish this. Okay, here we go. It loaded it once. Let's click on the play button. Okay, so we just got the first result right here and it's this one. So I'm going to click on it and we have a ready-made post right here, which it grabbed the main image, the content, the video, and the details right there. Now, it didn't grab the whole page because it grabbed the content section. If you want to grab the whole thing in settings, you will have to visual se visually select the section where it selects everything and not just the content part, right? So do consider that. Now, if you want to use AI for this, Go down here where you jump into the GPT settings. Where we go, OpenAI. All right. So over here in the settings, we have enabled the OpenAI model. We've added our API key, so we are good to use. So this is a good example right here that we can start using right away. All right. So if I grab this, the post text template. So I can go ahead and remove all this and add this right there. All right. So it knows that I want to use AI here, and it knows what model I want to select. And it's going to summarize this content in 100 words. It's just to give you an example. And it's using the match content from the content that it's grabbing. And it ends with the GPT. So it's letting to know that this encapsulated section will be the part where it's going to make a summarize of that post that we just scraped, right? You can also add content here if you like, and that will not be touched by GPT. So in case you want to do that, go ahead and publish and use it. But that's how easy it is to scrape the AppSumo website for the deals with this WordPress plugin. As I mentioned before, I will be leaving the link in the description in case you want to grab it. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.